Hey guys, welcome back to another video and finally OnePlus has rolled out its Oxygen OS Open Beta which is based on Android Pie for OnePlus 6. After a long wait, finally they have released it. To install the Android P, download the zip file from the description below and place it inside the internal storage. But before doing anything, make sure to take a complete backup. After that, go to Settings, System, System Update, tap the gear icon towards the right hand side, go to Local Upgrade, select the zip file, select Install Now. After the installation process is completed, you'll get an option to reboot. But instead of rebooting my device, I'll perform a factory reset so that I don't get any issues with the new build. And if you want to try Dirty Flash, then you can just reboot your device. But it is always recommended to do a clean installation. So I'll power off my device and boot to recovery. Once my device boots into recovery, I'll perform a factory reset from here. Once it's done, reboot the system. Booting up will take somewhere around 2-3 to three minutes. Once it's done, just complete the initial setup and you are good to go. So I've already installed it on my device. Let me show you the settings. About phone. And here you can see Oxygen OS version is Open Beta 1. Android version is Android 9.0 with a security patch of 5th September 2018. We already had Hydrogen OS Open Beta 1, 2 and 3 with Android Pie available. So first of all, let's take a look at the change logs. So these are the change logs what they have mentioned on their official forum which says update system to Android 9.0 that is Android Pie brand new UI for Android P. So as you can see now we have the complete new UI available, the shelf has been redesigned, new recents panel, volume slider has been redesigned along with the power menu. After that new Android P gesture navigation so that can be found under settings buttons and gestures, navigation bar and gestures. So here you can see we have three options available which includes navigation bar on the home screen, back and the home button and full screen gestures. This is my favorite one as it gives look of pixel devices. So from the home screen you just need to swipe up for the recents and swiping towards the left or the right will open up recents panel and you can switch between the applications. After that they say other new features and system improvements. Then they have integrated OnePlus customization features which now supports Ascent Color customization. So that can be found under settings, display and here you have the Ascent Color options. For this you need to enable dark or light theme to have these customizations. So as you can see once I change the theme to light color, the Ascent color option gets enabled and here you have option to customize the Ascent colors. Other than that screen calibration options have RGB mode, DCI P3, adaptive and custom colors but always on display is still not available under ambient display. Then they have updated the do not disturb mode with adjustable settings. So let's go to settings and check out do not disturb mode. So here under do not disturb mode you have lots of options like behavior, exceptions and you can also set the custom time or you can automatically schedule the do not disturb mode. Under earphone mode we have options like autoplay, smart answer for bluetooth, speak caller id, and you can also keep custom notification ringtone. And the last one under change logs is the new gaming mode which is version 3.0. So let's go to settings again under utilities, gaming mode and now the gaming mode is updated to version 3.0 which includes features like network boost, disable automatic brightness and this is a new thing what they have added which says how to show notification when the gaming mode is enabled. So here we have options like head up, text only, and if you want you can completely block the notification. And this is again a new thing added which says notification for third party application. Which says the voice or video calls from social app will show as notification. And it's a beta version. There are few bugs which they have mentioned which says some application might not function as expected when running on the beta version. So till now I have not encountered any kind of issues. After that they say Google Play services might not work but Google Play services are working fine for me. And the last one is Google Play Store might show device is not certified by Google. 
and yes in google play store it shows the device is not certified but i don't have issues with that so i go to settings and here you can see play protect certification says device is not certified so guys these are the change logs what they have mentioned on their official website other than that camera application is working fine there are no issues in recording slow motion videos at 480 frames per second and we also have updated version of face unlock so let's add my face we also have option of face unlock assistive lightning so let's try to unlock the device using face unlock and as you can see it is lightning fast with no issues wherein i am still sitting behind the camera i'll also do a complete review by tomorrow in which i'll include the battery backup now taking a look at the benchmark results with geekbench application single core scores 2418 wherein multi core scores 8888 and to two bench application scores 293041 and these are really great scores so guys these were the things available on the latest beta of oxygen os which is based on android pi and if you have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day